What's going on guys? It's your boy John the Liquidator coming back with another video to a look like Connecticut. Head coach Gino Ariema is getting roasted online after Kayla Clark has been named in the MVP conversation. Guys, this is hilarious. For this one here, we gotta go all the way up to Indy. Let's get it. Let's go. <laughs> first to tell you, bro, Kayla Clark is shaking all the haters off today, dog, because she has been named number four in the MVP conversation. So for those of you guys who might not have heard the news, Asia Wilson was awarded MVP in the 2024 season. I feel like she definitely deserved it, dog, but we cannot shy away from some of the accolades Kayla Clark has broken since she's been in this damn league. Now, I know number four is kind of a high spot, but I feel like Kayla Clark should have definitely been in the top three when you're talking about MVP. Think about everything that has transpired throughout this league since Kayla Clark got here. Bro, they literally got charter flights now because of Kayla Clark. Are you serious? Without Kayla Clark coming into this league, wouldn't nobody give a damn about the WNBA? Let's just all be honest, bro. This is the hottest league in all of sports now because one young lady came and set this thing on fire and i feel like she's going to keep setting this thing on fire through the duration of her career she is the female michael jordan dog kayla clark very much deserved to be in the top three we're talking about most valuable players look at all the damn records she broke nobody came into the league breaking records the way she did i don't give a damn not a asia wilson not a brianna stewart you can name them all go down the list Nobody did what Caitlyn done, bruh. So at the end of the day, she should have definitely been top three. Talk about a major snub. I just got to keep it all the way 100. Now, I'm not saying Kayla Clark deserved to win a thing over Asia Wilson. Asia Wilson balled out. I ain't going to go that far. But I would say she definitely deserved to be top three, bro. All the damn records she broke. There is no reason whatsoever why Kayla Clark ain't in the top three. Why well, I got to put her number four, bro. Talk about the level of disrespect. Moving on to another story. Now, I know y'all pretty familiar with Gino Ariema. He's a fan favorite, bruh. People like roasting this man on a daily. And one thing I would tell you, bruh, today is the ultimate roast. Because we all remember when that fool stated Kayla Clark shouldn't even be in the MVP conversation. I'm done talking. Let's pull up the clip right now. And you're a great college player like Caitlin was, the delusional fan base that follows her disrespected the WNBA players by saying she's going to go in that league and tear it apart. There were actually odds on what are, like she's third or fourth in betting odds on being MVP at the WNBA. These people are so disrespectful and so unknowledgeable and so stupid that it gives women's basketball a bad name. Okay, so the kid was set up for failure right from the beginning. So if you're a WNBA player, and I believe me, I've coached the best, and I've pissed them off a lot, and they let me know about it, but they were tremendously disrespected. And none of them are going to say it, but human nature is, okay, this kid's coming into the league, and Diana said it best, this kid's in for a rude awakening. And they all jumped over her, but they didn't read the whole thing that she said. But nobody's printing. You know, Diana Taurasi was right. This kid's on the wrong team. She's got the wrong skill set to handle the physicality of that league. And she's a rookie. And if you're a WNBA player, if you're any kind of player, you're going to say, I'm going to make a statement. Targeted, targeted by society, targeted by her looks, targeted by her reputation, targeted by the disrespect that they've shown to the WNBA. There's a huge target on this kid's back. I thought Cameron Brink said something really smart. She said, no, they're expecting this rookie class to be perfect. This rookie class isn't even one of the best rookie classes in the last 10 years. But they've been put out to be that because of the way social media is today. So now we all remember that clip of Gino Ariema pretty much saying Kayla Clark fan base is delusional. People shouldn't think that she should be in the MVP conversation. Well, guess what? She wound up being number four in the MVP conversation. She racked up 
Two triple doubles. No rookie has ever done that, Gino Ariema. And one fan took the Twitter to say this right here. They stated hello there, Gino. Kayla Clark is number four in the MVP rankings as a rookie. Hope you continue to get butthurt. LOL. And I'm telling you right now, he is super butt hurt because he went on record stating that Kayla Clark shouldn't even be a part of the MVP conversation. You're supposed to be a national winning coach, a renowned coach, and you couldn't see the level of talent Kayla Clark has. You should be fired. And I'm telling you right now, more WNBA veterans and pretty much veterans to the basketball world is going to be eating their words because Kayla Clark not only is ranked number four for the MVP conversation, the Associated Press just released an article and unanimous, oh yes, unanimously named her Rookie of the Year. Let's pull it up right now. It's been reported that the Associated Press has named Indiana Fever Rookie Kayla Clark as Rookie of the Year by a unanimous decision, beating out front runner Angel Reese of the Chicago Sky. Now, Angel Reese is listed as a person Kayla Clark will have to go up against for this Rookie of the Year. Now, the Associated Press Rookie of the Year is not the actual Rookie of the Year. We know the WNBA got to do their little thing and vote and do all the stuff they got to do. But one thing I will tell you right now, do not be surprised if the WNBA do not make this a unanimous vote. There is no reason whatsoever why this should not be a unanimous vote. Moving on to another story, Kayla Clark boyfriend, Connor, share this on his Instagram. Let's pull it up. Even Connor know Kayla Clark should be rookie of the year. He stated, duh, bruh, because we all know. There is no comparison. What Kayla Clark has done to transcend this league, transcend her basketball career, she completely destroyed Angel Reese in this battle, bro. I just have to keep it real. I ain't going to get on her a lot. She destroyed her and all of the other damn rookies. Kayla Clark was a record-breaking, record-setting machine for the 2024 season. Now, one thing I would say is that Kayla Clark – Definitely deserve to be rookie of the year, hands down, all jokes aside. What she has done was simply remarkable. Moving on to another story. Do it look like Kayla Clark has arrived to Connecticut, standing on business? Let's check out the footage right now. Kayla Clark is in the building. We're a couple hours away from Kayla Clark first. WNBA playoff game. You do not want to miss it. Tune in ABC Network, 3 p.m. It's about to go down. Get down in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts about this. Keep them bells on because you know what? I'm going to bring you the news. And until next time, shake the haters off. I'm out of here. Peace out. Shake!